Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Can you believe that we are now in the last few chapters of Genesis? When I started the Daily Visual Bible, a couple of questions I was asked was how I would be able to produce a show every day and how far into the Bible would I record? The honest answer to the first was then and is today, only with a lot of prayer and reflection. The honest answer to the second at the time was that I would probably get halfway through Genesis. I find it a blessing that I have proved myself wrong on this matter and I pray that I will continue for a long time to come. I feel we've come a long way together by only covering the first book of the Bible. I look forward to our continued relationship as we explore more of what the Bible actually has to say. Don't forget that you can email me directly at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com and you can check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk Of course, as always, you can find links to these in the description box below. When you're checking out those links, I ask you to consider the link of a friend of mine. Richard Turner will be cycling 207 miles to fight against human trafficking. Please carefully consider sponsoring this noble cause at www.justkiving.com forward slash A21 cycle. When you consider that the average age of a trafficking victim is 12 years of age, I trust you see the importance of this charity. That 12 year old is bound to be somebody's daughter or little sister. And let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 47 then Joseph went in and told Pharaoh and said, My father and my brothers, with their flocks, their herds, and all that they own, have come out of the land of Canaan. And behold, they are in the land of Goshen. For among his brothers he took five men and presented them to Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to his brothers, What is your occupation? He said to Pharaoh, Your servants are shepherds, both we and our fathers. We have come to live as foreigners in the land. For there is no pasture for your servants' flocks, for the famine is severe in the land of Canaan. Now therefore, please let your servants dwell in the land of Goshen. Pharaoh spoke to Joseph, saying, Your father and your brothers have come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. Make your fathers and your brothers dwell in the best of the land. Let them dwell in the land of Goshen. If you know any able men among them, then put them in charge of my livestock. Joseph brought in Israel, his father, and set him before Pharaoh, and Israel blessed Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to Israel, How long have you lived? Israel said to Pharaoh, My pilgrimage has been 130 years. My life has been short compared to my ancestors. Israel blessed Pharaoh and went out from his presence. Joseph placed his father and his brothers and gave them a possession in the land of Egypt in the best of the land, in the land of Ramesses. As Pharaoh had commanded, Joseph fed his father, his brothers, and father's entire household with bread according to their families. There was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very severe, so that the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan fainted by reason of the famine. Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan, for the grain which they brought. And Joseph brought the money into Pharaoh's house. When the money was all spent in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all well, the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us bread. Why should we die in your presence? Our money fails. Joseph said, Give me your livestock, and I will give you food for your livestock, if your money is gone. They brought their livestock to Joseph. And Joseph gave them bread in exchange for the horses, and for the flocks, and for the herds, and for the donkeys, and he fed them with bread in exchange for all their livestock for that year. When that year was ended, they came to him the second year and said to him, We will not hide from my Lord how our money is all spent, and the herds of livestock are my Lord's. There is nothing left in the sight of my Lord but our bodies and our lands. Why should we die before your eyes, both we and our land? 
Buy us and our land for bread, and we and our land will be servants to Pharaoh. Give us a seed that we may live and not die, and that the land won't be desolate. So Joseph bought the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. For every man of the Egyptians sowed his field, because the famine was severe on them, and the land became Pharaoh's. As for the people, he moved them to the cities, for a man entered the border of Egypt into the other end of it. Only he didn't buy the land of the priests, for the priests had a portion from Pharaoh, and ate their portion which Pharaoh gave them. That is why they didn't sell their land. Then Joseph said to the people, Behold, I have bought you and your land today for Pharaoh. Behold, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. It will happen that they harvest, that you shall give a fifth to Pharaoh. A four parts will be for your own, for seed of the field, for your food, for them or your households, and for food for your little ones. He said, You have saved our lives. Let us find favour in the sight of my Lord, and we will be Pharaoh's servants. Joseph made it a law of the land of Egypt that exists to this day, that Pharaoh should have the fifth. Only the land of the priests alone didn't become Pharaoh's. Israel lived in the land of Egypt, in the land of Goshen, and they got themselves possessions therein, and were fruitful and multiplied exceedingly. Israel lived in the land of Egypt seventeen years, so the days of Israel, the years of his life, were one hundred forty-seven years. The time came near that Israel must die. And he called his son Joseph and said to him, If now I have found favour in your sight, please put your hand under my thigh, and deal kindly and truly with me. Please, don't bury me in Egypt. But when I sleep with my fathers, you shall carry me out of Egypt, and bury me in their burying place. Joseph answered, I will do as you have said. Israel said, Swear to me. And he swore to him. Israel bowed himself on the bed's head. <laughs>